What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how I color water with Copic markers. Now the markers you'll need for this video are B00, B01, and B02. And since I'm coloring water, this is a fairly large area. So that's why I'm going to use another marker which has like a bigger chisel tip to it. This is a Master Touch marker specifically found at Hobby Lobby. The reason I'm going to be using this is because it's closer to the B00 color. And like I just mentioned, it has a bigger chisel tip to it. So it'll help me fill in a large area without using a lot of the ink out of my uh, Copic Chow marker. But just like what I said, I'm going to use this chisel tip marker and get the base color color in place. So now that that's done, I'm going to put this marker to the side and if I need to blend, I can just use the B00. So now we're going to take our B01, which is our mid-tone, and just go around the outer regions of the uh, this lake here. It might not be the easiest to see, but as long as we'll get those colors in place, we should be fine. Okay, and instead of going back to the base tone and blending that together, we're going to take our darkest tone, which is B02, and just go around the darkest parts. Or pretty much go around what we just covered, but not to cover up the entire mid-tone. Something like this. See, I'm going over top of the mid-tone, and I'm not covering that entire mid-tone layer. I'm just going to cover like a, a fairly uh, broad amount of it. Okay, now we're going to go back with our base color and blend the BO2 in. The rest is pretty self-explanatory because now that we got the mid-tones and everything blended together already, we pretty much work backwards than what I usually do and blend the base tone back. Okay, now that that's covered, we can pretty much do the same steps over if you want to because altogether it just looks a, a bit plain to me because it doesn't seem like you added a lot of shading along the outer parts like we did earlier. So what we can do is we can go even darker, like I'm going to grab my B05 and begin to make this blue a little bit more visible because the blues that we added earlier, they were kind of... Uh, they were kind of like close to the same value and we blended those together in the end it won't look like we did anything or that we blended uh, very similar colors in value together so like what I <clears throat> what I just showed you wasn't very visible so now we're gonna add a color that's um, very different in value darker in value actually and just repeat those same steps over. We're basically starting from the beginning, but this time it'd be a lot easier because we have a lot of layers underneath us to help us blend into each other. All right, now that looks a little bit more interesting than before because we added a color that's a little bit more darker than value compared to the other colors that we added to make it a little bit more interesting. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my gel pen right here. You can use a gel pen, a charcoal pencil, anything that lays down a white color. And I'm just gonna make little ripples in the water. Like, uh, let's zoom in here real quick. See how I'm making little small ripples in the water like this. And if you're making, if you're doing this with like a river, you can use this to make a river current or any kind of movement in the water because, you know, water or any kind of liquid has no definite shape. So it's going to move in some way. But since this lake kind of has like an idle movement to the water, then I just kind of like to add some ripples on the edge, kind of where I added that darker blue color, just to show that there is some movement going on. Because like I said, there is no definite shape. So you want to show some movement somehow. And there you go, that's how you illustrate lake, puddles, rivers, oceans, whatever. Any kind of body of water or any liquid. But if you did like this video, give it a like and a comment. 
subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I